Hey, what's going on guys? God is here. So today there's another new update for bad business and we are getting a new Scar H and there's also a second prestige, which I'm not even close to my first prestige right now. But look at all these new skins, bro. The animated skins and everything. Bro, okay, that's dope. But I spent some Robux, I got the Scar H for us, we're gonna use it for the video. It's for the content, baby. For the content. I'm probably gonna regret spending the 500 Robux, but oh well, it's cool. We gotta do what we gotta do, as long as we can get some nice videos out for you guys. As of right now, just a quick glance at the Scar, it has the same fire rate as like the G36C, I believe, and it also got a tighter spread than the G36C. Now that kind of worries me, for a few reasons. Because... If this gun is just as strong as the G36E and is now what seems like more accurate, I don't know how I feel about that one, honestly. That's that's kind of dangerous territory in my eyes, because the G36E was already really good. Now I haven't really compared this gun to something like the M16, and this is really just, take my opinions with a grain of salt right now, it's first glance. I. I haven't used the gun for more than like 5 minutes right now, I haven't done anything super special, let's turn our sound up, cause it's really quiet, um, but yeah no, I haven't used the gun for a large amount of time, it literally just came out maybe like a few hours ago, if that, and I've only had it for like a game or two, so take what I'm saying really lightly here, but off of first glance, the gun is concerning, it it's insanely strong, it's kind of a far-fetched thing to say this early, but I feel like I can comfortably say this is going to now be the new strongest gun in bad business. And that's scary. Now granted, it's it's hidden behind a large level cap, right? You have to be first prestige, I believe level 6 to even unlock this gun. Or you could, you know, spend Robux like me. <laughs> but that's not the point. It's It's got a level cap on it. It's got a while to unlock. Like, even though I consider myself pretty good, I haven't played the game a ton, but it definitely does take a little bit of time to prestige. Like, even if you grinded this game constantly, it'll still take you four to like eight days to prestige. Like, it definitely takes time. So unlocking this gun, it's not gonna be like overly used by everyone in the game. So that's good. That that's one positive side of it. They didn't make this gun a super low level to unlock so everyone can abuse it. So that's cool. However, the people who can abuse it that's where things get a little tricky, right? Like, do we want to let this gun stay where it's at? Now, I'll have to do more investigating, please don't kill me. More like looking into the gun and, you know, using the gun for a long time before I make a full opinion about it. But it kind of goes hard right now. Like, honestly, the Scar Rage goes really hard and I'm, I'm concerned, dude. I'm having a lot of fun with it, don't get me wrong. Of course, I'm gonna enjoy any gun that's crazy, but I feel like I'm going to get really upset whenever someone uses it against me, so it's going to be really hypocritical, but that's not the point. Definitely fun. Without a doubt, a fun gun to use, but we have to, you know, kind of plan for the future, the future, the future. Give me a second. Hold up. Let me just get, the, let me deal with you guys. Please, I can only deal with one at a time. Please be patient. You've been waiting your turn. Thank you. I appreciate it. Awesome. Thank you for being patient and letting me kill you, kill you. Come on. Okay. We're good. We're okay for now. Dude, wow, 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 okay, I really whiffed that one. Um, but yeah, so, it definitely goes hard. You can see right now, I'm shredding people. It really doesn't take long to kill them. Starting off 25 and 2. Not too bad, not too good either. But, like I said, this also only has 20 bullets compared to other guns that have, like, 25 to 30. So there definitely was some balance suits to it. They definitely did, you know, kind of plan it out. It wasn't just instantly thrown into the game. Which, you know, these devs are actually pretty, pretty decent at balancing for the most part. Oh, there's definitely some tweaks that can be can be done, but you know, overall on their initial releases, they haven't made anything super insane right off the bat. So I'm happy. I do have faith in their decision making. I don't have faith in this guy's MK14. He's going sicko, bro. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, I mean, we're just gonna tear it up for now. I I'm probably gonna ask if they felt like they could have changed anything about the gun prior to its release. Which, I doubt they would have released it if they had plans to change. Stupid thing, but I'm gonna ask anyways, if they kind of like had debated anything amongst themselves prior to releasing, and see really just where they sat on the gun before they uh, actually pushed it into the game. But, as of right now, bro, I already did a bad business stream today, which, by the way, in case you guys don't know, I do try to live stream every now and then, so you guys should definitely look out for those whenever they happen. They are completely random, I really don't have a schedule for them right now. Um, but the stream went really good, and it kind of makes me want to play this game again because of the new updates. I'm actually really hyped, like, okay. When I get a ton of free time, I want to grind this game simply because those new skins look absolutely awesome. If you saw them at the beginning of the video, how they're animated, bro? 
animated skins, dude? Do you know how... Okay. We still don't have that in PF, and I, I'm sorry to keep making comparisons to PF, but, like, that's the only real comparison I have. I'm sorry. Like, there aren't any super long-standing popular FPS games, so... I'll, I'll, I'll try to chill with that because I understand it is kind of disrespectful to both devs, but it just is what it is. I, you have, a lot of people have wanted animated skins on PF for a long time, and oh my god, I probably shouldn't have pushed that hard. And now that they're on here already, dude, I'm so excited. You guys know I'm a sucker for cosmetics, like, I know on PF I usually didn't go over the top with my skins, and I wasn't like too obsessive with them. But every few skin, every few guns, you know, they had some nice skin to them, right? Like, they, they looked good. And now that, I don't know if they're ever going to add customizability to the skins, or if they're always just going to be kind of stagnant with what they offer us, which I'm okay with either, because their skins already are really cool, and their animated ones also flow really well, and I don't know if, like, customizing them could potentially cause issues in the future? Maybe, like, bugs to the skins, anything like that? So that's kind of, like, it's kind of something to look out for. But I also think that would be cool if they are able to add it, then, you know, that'd be awesome. I also am really, really liking the fact that they don't lock skins behind cases. Nothing is at chance right now. It's all, you get to this level, you get these skins. And that's cool, because you don't have to, like, some, I know that I've had people on PF, even myself, who have opened, like, hundreds of cases just to never get the skin that they want. And that kind of sucks, but that's also the money-making aspect of this. This, you know, it is what it is, that's how games make their money, and, like, you really can't f complain, like, even CSGO, CSGO has made such a huge economy on their skins, and that's how they make their money. It's all a game of chance, and people are going to spend money on it. But at the same time, the devs really seem to care more about how happy their audience is compared to the money. They they really don't have anything to spend, like, Robux on. It's credits, that's all. And credits don't even really get you anything, because in my opinion, this game, like, the Scar Rage, I am, like, ranting about how, like, how strong this gun is, and it's awesome. But I don't think it would be worth, like, some level 2 spending, you know, three, like, two, three thousand credits on, on just trying to unlock just this gun, right? Like, I don't think it's that serious of an advantage by any means. So, that's good. That's good. They are really keeping things in place. They're keeping them in line. And they're not offering any extreme advantages to people who have the money to spend. Awesome. Awesome job by the devs. But we are going crazy right now, bro. 65 and 6? We could be doing a lot better. Like, I could be going, like, 65 and 0 right now, but it's besides the point. It's still a really good gameplay overall. I honestly, I can't get enough of this game, man. We played it, we streamed it for, like, an hour and a half, like I was saying. We literally were playing non-stop, had a ton of fun with it, and then they released an update, and now I'm having a ton more fun with it. It's been a while since I've had a game where, you know, I could play for hours, I could stream it, even PF, like, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, when I would stream PF, I wouldn't touch PF 99% of the time for, like, another day or two, like, the, it just became too much and, like, too repetitive. And this game, even though it's a simple concept, just, it flows so well, everything about this game is so good to me, and that's just awesome. Also, the fact that the devs have stated that, you know, mods for guns, like, sites and things like that, are gonna be coming next month. That's amazing! Like, in a month, we're gonna have, like, sites, possibly, like, any barrel attachments. I don't know what their real plans are. I don't know if they're gonna add things like silencers or anything like that. I don't know if they really want to go that route with this game. But even just getting something like a red dot sight, I think will be awesome. Because, although the Scar Rage does have really nice iron sights compared to most guns, things like the G36C and stuff, it's hard to see out of the iron sights. So, getting things like a red dot or anything like that is going to help so much, bro. I'm excited. I'm really excited. This game is going in such an awesome path that, I don't know, man, I just, there's so many potential things that can happen in the future, and it just makes me giddy to think about. <sighs> Boys. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. I, this is a terrible idea. No, I didn't want to lay down right there. Thank you, though. Just trying to toss these two grenades. Just give me a second. Please be patient. Everyone will get their turn to die. Okay, never mind. I get my turn to die, you know. Why would it matter? I just, I suck at the game anyways, it's cool. <laughs> uh, I think that guy's trying to call me out for, like, cheating or something, which is kind of funny to me, but I'm not even doing anything too insane right now, come on. Uh, uh, uh. But, boys, those new skins, okay. When I eventually, it's gonna take me a long time to hit Prestige 2 and, like, actually get those skins, but when I do, mark my words, we're having a whole video dedicated to those things. I am dedicating an entire 
10 minute, you know, gotta get that ad revenue, 10 minute video just to those skins because they look so cool. I, I'm, dude, other than the fact that I suck, I'm so excited for like, the prestiging is what I'm really after. Now, it sucks because I don't have too much time to play games right now. I will soon though. But when we actually do have a lot of time to sit down and like really grind, we're gonna get that XP, boys. We're getting those skins one way or another. Cause I have like the animated VIP skin now, which is like the, you know, the money sign and it just kind of scrolls along the gun. But I want like those flames. I want the cool stuff. I want to be, you know, one of those sweaty kids who is prestige too within like, you know, a month of the full release. And whoo, okay, there we go. Um, I want to be one of the kids who has like the cool skins within like the month of release. I also want to like show off the fact that I play video games too much and that's okay with me. That, that's cool. That's 100% fine by me. Please die. Come on. Please die. Thank you. Ah, no, 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 not me die. Come on. Wait, we only need five more. Bro, if we didn't die right there, we actually could have hit 100, but I don't think we're going to now. Mm, maybe. Oh, let me reload. There's a kid right here. Come on, I need two more kills. I literally need to get the last two kills. No, where did he come from? <laughs> Dang, two kills off 100. Hey, KD, not too bad. We just hit level 31 as well, which is awesome. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.